today, we're taking a look at the Logitech Brio 300 webcam. As one of the latest installments in their range of 1080p budget webcams, it's a compact yet stylish addition to your setup, offering high quality, reliable video support for video calls and content capture. Hi and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. As a part of their plan to create a more sustainable world, Logitech has made sure to use responsible packaging from certified forests, along with using a minimum 48% post-consumer recycled plastics within the webcam itself, helping reduce their impact on the environment as much as they can. Because of this, the box itself is very compact and only contains the webcam itself, a small packet of instructions and warranty documents. The webcam itself is also pretty small, featuring a cone-like shape with the lens sitting on the middle of its widest face and the cable coming out of the more pointed end on the back. Similar to its predecessor, the Brio 500, it sits on a fold-out bracket that's used for securing it to the top of the monitor. It feels nice and sturdy, and it can fold out into multiple positions, so it should fit comfortably on most monitors. The cable itself is 1.5 meters long, which means it should provide an ample length when connecting it to a monitor and a PC that may be set on the floor or away from the desk. However, one thing to bear in mind is that it is a USB-C connection rather than the standard USB-A, so you'll have to make sure that your system can utilize USB-C or possibly possibly spend a little bit extra on an adapter. Its design also incorporates a privacy shutter that can be spun to block or reveal the lens when needed, which is a nice addition that you don't always see in some low-cost webcams. As we saw with the Brio 500, I found the webcam can only be tilted up and down, and that doesn't have the ability to pan left or right, meaning that it's slightly lacking in the customization of viewing angles. On the plus side though, you can personalize it in a way, as it does come in three color variations, graphite, rose, and off-white, all sporting this nice speckle pattern all over over, giving it a little bit more flair than the usual plain black colouring. In terms of specs, the Logitech Brio 300 is a full HD 1080p camera that Logitech claims delivers 30fps footage. It also makes use of their Bright Light technology, the version here being Bright Light 2 as opposed to the Bright Light 4 seen on the Brio 500. This technology works as an auto light correction and is supposed to automatically adjust the image output of the webcam to compensate for changing light conditions so that you always appear as clear as possible. It also features a single noise reducing microphone that filters out background noise, making sure that you can be heard clearly. While you can stand the camera up on a flat surface and adjust the angle towards your face, it's hardly a flattering angle. The stand is so versatile that it's designed to work best on top of most monitors, letting you take advantage of this more desired front-facing view. And as you can see, the webcam does sit firmly on top of the monitor and the angle adjustments up and down paired with the wide framing give you plenty of visibility and the freedom to move around within the frame. So now let's get into testing the quality output from both the camera and microphone. So this is what the camera and mic output sound like on default. Everything is set to auto within the Logitune app with no filters. Right now I'm in a very well lit environment using only studio lights, so assuming that the right light technology is helping to improve the image slightly here. Now the image quality looks very good with no overblown areas or noise, and the frame rate seems nice and smooth without much stuttering. Now I've currently got the camera set to full quality output at 1080p resolution with 30fps. Now I'm also using the webcam's built-in mic right now, and I think it sounds clear enough, especially considering that it's a single mic positioned with a small cutout on the front of the webcam itself. However, the noise cancelling feature doesn't seem to work all that well, and if I was to type while I was speaking for example, the microphone does pick this up as well, so this may be something to consider if you think it will affect the quality of your voice calls. So I'm now testing the webcam's low light capabilities, and as you can see, I've turned off all the lights in the room, apart from the screen brightness and a couple of lights on the PC itself. Now I feel the quality is just as good, and the low light compensation is helping improve the picture slightly. And it also doesn't seem to be adding any unnecessary noise to the picture, keeping the quality nice and sharp throughout. Again, it's not necessarily something that would matter too much in general voice call scenarios, but if you do need to record anything else with the webcam, it would be best to do so in the best lighting that you can find. The benefit of Logitech webcams is having access to the Logitune app, letting you customise the settings to your personal preference. Now you can download the app from the Apple or Google Play stores for free, and it opens up in a small manageable window with a handy output preview to see the adjustments you make in real time. It operates using easy to read sliders and lets you finely tune a handful of features from brightness, contrast and saturation, right down to enabling auto features like exposure, white balance and anti-flicker settings for your region. Now I know a lot of video chat services 
Eyes offers some filter options like background blur, but I like that you can add a filter directly to the camera as a quick adjustment when you don't have time to go deep into the specific adjustments using the sliders. Depending on the conditions, a lot of the filters seem a bit too intense for my liking, but they may suit certain lighting environments and seem a great option even if you just want to use a fun filter. It is a little frustrating that there seems to be no options though for adjusting the microphone at all, as I felt sometimes my voice did come out a bit loud, but knowing that it has some degree of noise cancellation, it does seem fine in these default settings as it is. Personally, I think the auto features do a great job out of the box, and for most general use cases, I don't think I'd feel the need to go in and make adjustments to the image unless the lighting conditions were particularly awkward. But as most webcams don't have an app to control the effects in this much detail, I'd definitely consider getting a Logitech webcam just for the app alone. Overall, I think the Logitech Brio is a great budget 1080p webcam that will be more than suitable for most people's video call needs. Its image quality is great in well-lit environments, and the Logitune app gives you a heap of customization options to get the image tuned just the way you want. Plus its compact and speckled design, along with the available colour variations, makes it very aesthetically pleasing, which means it'll fit into anyone's setup. It may not have the top tier quality or features of some of the more expensive options out there, but for a high quality, low cost accessory, it is a great option. So what are your thoughts on the Logitech Brio 300 webcam? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.